In 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24, Paul tells us that when we are looking at the Christian life, we should think of it as a race where everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize. Is he saying that we're all competing against one another and only one of us is going to make it to heaven? Obviously not. So why did he say, think of it like a race where only one person gets the prize? Here's the reason. He reminded me, God reminded me of the first team in history. You remember in Genesis, Adam and Eve? They lost. When they lost, God said to Adam, so why did you lose? He said, don't blame me. It was the woman. So God goes to Eve. Eve, why did you lose? Don't blame me. It was the serpent. So when you're on a team, you can always pass the blame. But when you are a runner in a race where only one gets the prize, that means if you don't win, only one gets the blame. What God was teaching us through this principle that the Apostle Paul was speaking of is God was teaching us to take responsibility for ourselves. But you know what I found is that if you really want to get something done, you'll just get it done. You don't blame everybody else. You don't look for people to blame. The only reason you need people to blame is if you're going to lose. You don't need people to blame if you're going to be a winner. And so what you need to do is you need to concentrate on being a winner. Be a winner. And I went to three what I consider amazing athletes that I know, and I asked each of them, what do you consider to be the primary key that you need to win? So the first one really confused me. He said, you need definition. I said, what? What does a winner need about a vocabulary of definitions? He said, no, not that. You need to define your weaknesses and your strengths. You need to know where I'm weak and where I'm strong, so I need to work on these areas, and I'm okay in these areas. You need to be honest with yourself. John chapter 15, verse 5, Jesus says, I'm the vine, you're the branches. Without me, you can do nothing. You need to look at the fact that you are not an overcomer. Jesus is the overcomer, and we share in his victory because we are the ones he died for. That's why we have the victory of being an overcomer. Not because we overcame Satan. Jesus overcame Satan. You didn't die on the cross. Jesus did. So recognize the fact that without him, we can do nothing. If you were capable of defeating Satan, Jesus would have never died on the cross. The whole reason he died on the cross is because you and I are weaker than Satan. You need to admit that to yourself. You need to recognize Satan is real. He's in the world today. He's not dead. He's alive, and he's working to defeat us. You say, well, that's pretty overwhelming. Until you look at Philippians, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now, some people walk around just saying, I can do all things through Christ. I can do all things through Christ. I can do it. No, you can't. You can't. The only way you can do all things through Christ is if you allow him the time to strengthen you. Strengthen you. So you need his strength. You can't do all things through Christ just because you're saved. No, you need to spend the time in studying God's word, spend time in prayer that gives God the opportunity to pour his strength into you so that then you can do all things through Christ because you have allowed him to strengthen you. I pray this has helped you. I look forward to sharing with you more on how to be an overcomer. God bless you. 
I want to give you a message that I preached based on the life of the youngest king that Israel ever had, Josiah, who became king at age eight. When he was 18 years old, he turned an entire nation to God. In fact, after his death, God said that no king before or after him had ever sought after God like he did. What caused this young man to be transformed into such a mighty man of God? He learned his destiny. I want you to have this message so you will be inspired to find God's destiny for your life. If you'd like to get this free audio CD or download it now as an MP3 file, just visit our website, markgorman.com. And on the home page, click the link for the free audio. And if you live in the New Orleans area, come visit us at Grace Christian Center in two locations. On Saturdays at 6 p.m., we have our North Shore service in Slidell at 3648 Pontchartrain Drive. That's Highway 11. And Sundays at 11.30 a.m., we meet at 1301 Battery Road. For more information, visit our church website, gccnola.com. Thank you, and God bless you.